So, in this video, I'm going to share with you an incredible free and open source download manager that has a modern and beautifully clean user interface. It can download files faster than your default browser downloads. This tool helps you download large files quickly and efficiently. We'll take a look at different options on the user interface. Also, I'll show you how this download manager offers browser extensions for Firefox and Chrome, making it easy to capture downloads directly from your browser. We'll also compare this tool to the popular Internet Download Manager, IDM, to see the download speeds and total time taken to download the same file for both managers. So let's get started. First, download this incredible AB Download Manager by searching for its name on Google. Alternatively, you can check the description box for a link to the official website. Once you're on the official site, you can read all the information provided by the developer. I encourage you to review this information before using the tool. If you want to check the source code, simply click the GitHub button. To download the tool, return to the official website and click on the Get App option located on the home page. Now, you have two options. One is for Windows users and the other one is for Linux users, although Linux build is still in development. All right, as I'm making this video on a Windows machine, I will choose the Windows Download option. Then you have to choose between the EXE download and the ZIP download. If you are a portable user, choose the ZIP download option. Okay, for this video, I'll download the installer EXE file. Once downloaded, I'll locate the installer on my hard drive and I'll run the installer to install the application as we normally would. I'll fast forward through the installation process to save your time. On the app interface, you'll see the download file types on the left. In the toolbar, there are several useful options like add URL, resume, pause, start over, and settings. You'll also find menu options to explore. Here, you can add a new download download using your clipboard links or start batch downloads, which is a fantastic feature of this free download manager. Also, you will see some options like start queue, browser integration, and settings. Okay, let's adjust some settings for this app from the main screen settings option. On the appearance tab, you will find options to change the theme, language, start on boot, compact top bar, and notification sound. On the Download Engine tab, you will get options like the default download folder, use proxy for this app, global speed limiter, thread count, dynamic part creation, and many more advanced features. As I'm going to compare this tool with the popular Internet Download Manager, which uses eight threads to download files, I'm going to change the thread count to eight for this download manager. Okay, now it's time to add the browser extension for this download manager so it can capture downloads and transfer them to the download manager. So, come back to the download page of AB Download Manager, and here you will find the Download Browser Extension option. If you're using Google Chrome, Brave, Opera, Microsoft Edge, Arc Browser, or any Chromium-based browser, select the Chrome Extension option. Since I'm using Firefox, I'll install the Firefox extension. Now, let's test this tool by downloading the Windows 11 ISO file from the Microsoft website, which is about 5.4 gigabytes. I will not fast forward or slow down the video to make a fair comparison. As you can see, the download speed is pretty good on AB Download Manager.
In my test, this download manager took around 1 minute and 4 seconds to complete the download. Next, I'll download the same file using Internet Download Manager and see how long it takes. Okay, I have installed IDM on my system. At this point, I'll change a setting on IDM that will prevent IDM from downloading files immediately if I paste a download link in the Add URL option. This will make our test more accurate. Okay, everything is ready and now I'll simply copy the download link of the Windows 11 ISO file and add it to the program. Then I will click on Start Download. As you can see, IDM downloads files faster, but you will notice it takes more time at the time of appending all the downloaded parts. In this test, IDM took around 1 minute and 16 seconds to finish the download. We will not test these tools side by side as we have limited system resources. So you have to decide which one is best for you. A paid program which costs around $25, or the other one which is completely free of charge and also open source. In my opinion, AB Download Manager is an excellent free alternative to IDM. Although it lacks some of IDM's features, it is still a good choice. If you can't afford IDM, this download manager is definitely worth using. That's all for today's video. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.